everyone will want to get ready for school when they see the Go Schoolhouse Pieced Die. This block on board or bob die holds all the pieces for making the classic block in a nine inch finish size. The schoolhouse block is often considered a challenge, but specialized dog ears combined with perfect cuts make it possible for beginning quilters to earn an A+. Screen printed letters on the die board make it as easy as A, B, C to keep track of your pieces. And the innovative design makes it possible to sew this block without traditional Y seams. It's easy to be head of the class. Just lay the fabric out on the die board Cover with a 10 by 24 cutting mat and use either the Go or the Go Big to cut your two color block in just one pass through the cutter. If you're ready for advanced studies, consider pairing this die with the Go Mix and Match 9 inch cube and companions or any other 9 inch finished bob die. The possibilities are endless. Forgot an apple for the teacher? No worries, easy to follow instructions and exciting free patterns make it as simple as one, two, three to be the head of your class with the Go Schoolhouse Pieced 9 Inch Finished Die. Because at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Are you or someone you love an avid quilter? Meet the Ready, Set, Go Ultimate Fabric Cutting System. This fabric cutter takes the strain out of fabric cutting, meaning less chance of injury and better quilts made faster. The Ultimate Fabric Cutting System includes the Go, our innovative fabric cutter with an easy to turn handle that makes cutting fabric safer, faster, and more accurate. This 15 pound fabric cutter has a carrying handle and folding mechanism, so it's portable and easy to store. The Ready, Set, Go also includes the Go Cube Mix and Match 8 inch block, which features eight dies of commonly used geometric shapes and a corresponding cutting mat. The Go Cube Mix and Match system has endless pattern possibilities, but it comes with a 16 page pattern book with two quilt patterns to get you started. We like to say the Ready, Set, Go is the ultimate fabric cutting system because it truly comes with everything you need. That includes our Go Strip Cutter, two and a half inch, which finishes to a two inch finish strip, a corresponding cutting mat to make cutting binding strips easier than ever. We've even included a die pick to make die maintenance painless. To help quilters feel confident on their quilting journey, we've also included the Go Cube Mix and Match Blocks and Quilt Pattern Book by Eleanor Burns. It's packed with tips and tricks in addition to inspiration. Look at some of the beautiful projects you can create with this ultimate fabric cutting system. At AccuQuilt, we want to spread the joy of quilting to all, and the Go makes cutting fabric easier than traditional scissors or rotary cutting. AccuQuilt, because cutting time means quilting more.
ultimate fabric cutting experience, you need the go big in your sewing space. This all electric fabric cutter is hands-free, making it the cutter for those with physical limitations. The Go Big is safe, easy to use, and is compatible with every die in our Go collection. That's more than 250 dies. The wide opening allows you to run two six inch wide dies through at once, upping your efficiency and lowering your cutting time. Though it's our widest Go cutter, the Go Big is still portable and features a handle to make it easy to store or travel with. When you buy the Go Big electric starter set, you get the Go Big fabric cutter, the three by six inch finish Go Flying Geese die, a cutting mat, and five fabulous patterns. Look at some of these beautiful projects you can create with a Go Big. The Go Big has all the perks of AccuQuilt's amazing Go product line with none of the manual work. Don't give up your quilting craft. Go Big. AccuQuilt. Because cutting time means quilting more. I'm Lynn Gibney, AccuQuilt's Chief Brand and Product Officer. Welcome to the first AccuQuilt show of 2020. Yay! Happy New Year! We are so excited for today's Die to Try launch party where we will be showing you inspiration using our new Go Goose Tracks die. It's so fun. Our Die to Try series lets us bring new products to you faster than our usual launches and allows you to experience exclusive dies. We only carry a limited number of these Die to Try releases, so there is a very limited time for you to add each one to your collection. In fact, we sold out right after we launched our last Die to Try, you guys, right? We did, we did. So don't wait to get your hands on one or you might miss out. We're always looking for new ways to bring you innovative products that help you create fun quilt blocks. Using AccuQuilt dies will make creating these time-consuming blocks fast and easy so you can get back to sewing. Now let me introduce you to your tracking guides for today, <laughs> Pam and Erica. Hello, happy Hello, new year. Happy, happy, new year. New year. happy new year. Excited to be here. Eric, oh, quilters, I'm really ready to fly into this new year with our brand new die. I love this die. Oh, me too. Not only are we kicking off the new year with this die, we also have this super exciting new campaign we're launching as well. That's right, starting in January, this month, 2022, AccuQuilt is partnering up with Moda Fabrics and Baby Lock in a Pay It Forward campaign called Covering the World One Quilt at a Time. Moda, not just for grunge. <laughs> Quilters and designers from AccuQuilt and Moda Fabrics are on a quest to donate their time and quilts to a charity of their choice. And we're inviting you, our viewers, to join us in this big quilting event adventure. 
Every week in 2022, one person from our teams will donate a quilt to a charity of their choice. And I actually finished up a, a UFO over the weekend, which is going to be my first quilt to donate. Fantastic. Visit the link you see on our screen to learn more about how you can participate, along with Pam and myself and Lynn and yeah. everyone else. You know, that means you have to give them away, not take them from the set. Oh, ugh, yes. Hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Good yeah. point, Pam. I'm really excited about this cam campaign. And again, I always have some great ideas for those places that I want to donate. All right, quilters, let's get this die to try lunch party started. That's right. As always, we've planned a lot of fun for you. We've got some great prizes, exciting project ideas, and an inspirational trunk show, and some special deals. All right, ladies, I'm going to get ready for our two special guests, Barbara and Marianne, who will be helping us to reveal our new die in a little bit. So have a great show. All right, thanks, Lynn. We'll, we'll see, we'll you, see you soon. See you back. All right, quilters, <laughs> well, let's not wait any longer. Let's take a look at our new Go Goose Tracks die. Get ready to discover why the classic Goose Tracks quilt block has been a favorite of quilters for generations with the Go Goose Tracks block and board or bob die. AccuQuilt made it simple and easy to make this traditional block. This handy die cuts all the pieces you need to create this nine inch finished block in just one pass through any Go cutter. But there's so much more to love about this die. The 14 shapes on this innovative die feature specialized dog ears to make fitting the pieces together for perfect points a breeze. Screen printed letters make it easy to keep track of your pieces. The Goose Tracks block is traditionally made with inset pieces, also known as Y seams. However, AccuQuilt's block on board die eliminates the need for that making it a block that even beginning quilters can master with ease. Your creativity will soar with this die. Try it with traditional or reproduction fabric, or go for a new look with fresh, modern fabrics and bold solids. Try it on point with AccuQuilt's nine inch setting triangles die. Pair it up with the Go cubes or other bob dies to keep the new looks coming. Use it to create quilts, wall hangings and more it's destined to leave its mark or tracks on your heart. Because at AccuQuilt, we want to help you cut time so you can quilt more. They're playing their song. Yes, they are. All right, quilters, <laughs> working with this new die has been such a blast. Oh, it has been. The Go Goose Tracks die is a block on board or a bob die, and it's specifically designed to cut one four color, nine inch block in one pass through the cutter. It quickly provides you with all 14 of the shapes that would be, let's face it, very time consuming oh, yes. and tricky to cut by hand. It's the perfect die to get you on the right track for the new year. That's right, so here, let's show you the block. We'll talk about the die here love in just it. a few minutes. But look at this block, and isn't that so, fun. so pretty? I love the bright colors. I do too. I think it's great. All right, quilters, we want you to get on track with one of these limited quantity dies. That's why today we put together an exciting bundle for you. That's right. Now this bundle is available for pre-order right yes. now, and it's going to ship to you this month. And today's bundle is the Go Soaring a nine inch block on board die bundle. You'll get the Go Goose Tracks. It finishes at nine inches. Erica, your favorite, the Go Glorified Nine yes, Patch. Yes, indeed. And the Lemoyne Star, which also finishes to nine inches. And listen, you need to have setting triangles so you can turn the block on Absolutely. Point. Now, normally all of this would run you $380, but today you get it all for the savings. Oh, I'm sorry, all for $274.99, saving you $105, That's which fantastic. is great. Or you can get the Go Goose Tracks die today by itself. Normally getting this die would run you $110, but you can get it today for $89.99, saving you $20. No code is necessary for either of these great deals. That's right. Now remember, don't wait to place your order for this die. We have a limited quantity of these dies, right. so they are going to sell out fast. Place your order now so you won't miss out. Right. If you're ready to fly into another great deal, we've got a promo code for you. 
use get 30% off your order when you use the promo code FLY30. Now quilters, just a reminder, this code can't be combined with the new die because it's already discounted. That's right. Plus, if you spend $100 or more and place your order by 2 p.m. Central Time, so just in the next two hours, mm -hmm. you will get free shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S. To get your order in during the show, you can use your phone's camera to capture the QR image. It will take you directly to our site. Now, if you don't have access to a QR reader, you'll want to open a new tab in your browser. So go to the top of the page and click on the plus sign. In that very top box, type in accuquilt.com slash party to place your order you will see the bundle right there. That right. way you won't miss a minute of the show. And quilters, you can quilt now, pay later. For more information on financing through AccuQuilt, visit AccuQuilt.com slash financing. All right, let's take a new look at this new die, okay? Let's do, I really like this die. Okay, so first thing to notice, it's on a six by 24 die board, so it's gonna fit through all of our cutters, including our Gomi. That's right. right? So First thing you need to be sure you have is a six by 24 mat to go right. with it, right? Right, now there are 14 shapes on this die and all of them are screen printed. Mm -hmm. And look, we've cut off the dog ears, so this is that perfect quarter inch yes. seam. Now Erica, the first thing quilters are gonna ask, can I make that with my cube? And the answer is no. no. How come Erica? Well, because shape D is a diamond. Oh, right Okay, yeah. so shape D is a diamond, and the shape that you're probably thinking of in your mix and match cube, that's a parallelogram. Right. So the sides are not even on that, so you cannot substitute that, and it will not work together the way this does. So right. this is a great way to get some extra shapes right. to play with in some different ways. Right, like this rectangle is a different shape, and these half square triangles, which are our favorite, are all together. Yes. And um, it's gonna cut one four color block, and just one pass, yes. and it's gonna finish to nine inches. That's right. So, shall we cut one? Let's do. Let's do, let's show the folks how to do it. Okay, one of the things I love about our bob dies is that they're sectioned by color. Yes. Right, so this A and C are the green right here. Right, and we'd want, if we are doing our whole block, we'd have, we'd need one of A, but we would need four. Four. So just one more. Yep. Yep. And um, we're gonna put our weight up here. So F and E and B are white. Yep. And then um, here is D. So we can always cut six layers. So um, I'm just gonna cut four layers. We're okay. gonna make all of them purple today because okay. we can. Because we can. Yep. And that's it. That's all you have to do. You would wanna follow Super this sub cutting instructions for your yes. fabric. We have some mm -hmm. really great ones. And I do love this. You had this brilliant idea about yes. a color way for so We were this. looking at this, it's so springy, it looks like flowers, and we're gonna talk about the sample and all later. But, you know, if you use blues with it, it will, you're just gonna look like a snowflake, I think. It is, and here in so, Nebraska. So now I can hardly wait to go home and make one in blues. Yes, here in Nebraska, snow is still relevant. Oh, very. And this is very. A, this is a great project to use Go Quilt, which is our yes, free program. Yes, because at you can, you can imagine it in those different yeah. colors. So we're gonna slide our mat, don't lift. Yep. We're gonna pull back our pieces. Yep. Look at Here how we go. pretty this is. And here's our whites. It's not a Band-Aid, so don't rip it. Yeah, it's our big motto here. Big theme here. Well, one of the cool things is, is that the block actually is four units and then sashing in between those units right. to make your finished block. Right, so um, that sashing is gonna come in the form of these squares. Here's our center. Here's square. our center square, right? All right, and then, oh, I'll move this down so we can see better, yeah. okay? So Erica, we're just gonna start in the corner. We're gonna start in the corner. There's our, our corner section of that. Yep. And then we're gonna build out with our flowers and with our now or our petals or our petals. Now quilters are gonna say to us, are there Y seams? There aren't. No Y who seams. Who designed it without Y seams? Thanks to those folks who designed that. Okay. We're using some great half square triangles. We are, which is the whole reason we don't have Y seams. That's right. So these little half square triangles, oh, see now this is why you practice. And always make a test block, right? Always. And I just think it's so fun. This is such an easy chain piecing kind of thing. It really of is. It really is. Okay. It goes together. I love, I really love the purples and the greens. I know. I did the purple because it's your favorite here for the new year. I did. I know. 
Did you have a nice holiday? I did. How about you? I, there was much sleeping and sewing. Much sleeping and sewing. Much yes, sleeping absolutely. and sewing. It was fun. Okay, so these little half square triangles are going to go right here in the edge of those That's diamonds. Right. Now look, quilters. Look how these dog ears line up. They're absolutely perfect. And you're going to know you've got them lined up when they're, they fit together perfectly like yeah. that. They're going to come together and you're going to sew that perfect one. And then um, over here in the, is the outside in these are That's bigger right. ones. And so if you go to the product page at AccuQuilt.com, you're going to see those detailed directions that you can download for free. Yep. They're going to be the block assembly directions, and that's where you're also going to find that coloring sheet. I right. know everybody loves the coloring sheet. I yes. do too. That's where you're going to find that. That was an Erica in a, in a innovation. It was. Ah, I love that. It was. Okay, so look how fast this went together. So if I were making this block, I would just chain piece. Oh, absolutely. Right? Chain piece, press my seams open. Yes. Right, because otherwise you're going to get some. That's a great tip because there's a lot of bulk in there. You right. are going to want to press those open. That's one reason why we really love using that little shovel iron. Right. And you know what else I got for Christmas? What did you get? I got a wool pressing mat. Oh, I, I haven't them. had one at home. I love it so much. I love my wool pressing mat. Absolutely. And as I sit, I don't have to move very much. I can just <laughs> move and sew and sit. We wouldn't sit. want to actually have yeah, to get, get up, up and, and move. Stop okay. ourselves. All right, All right, Coulters. Well, now that you've seen this die in action, so we are going to introduce you to our experts. We've challenged both of them to create projects using the Go Goose Tracks die. First up, we have Barbara Harper. Barbara is a quilter, a seamstress, and a teacher who has made hundreds of beautiful quilts. She's owned her AccuQuilt Go for over 10 years. She credits much of her award-winning quilt success to the accurate cuts her system provides. Barbara had began sewing as a child with her grandmother. Our grandkids can say that. I will. And enjoys creating quilts for the special people in her life. Now, next up, we have Marianne Fontana. Marianne is a self-taught sewer, quilter, and textile artist. She started her sewing journey at the young age of eight, and although sewing's always been a part of her life, the love of quilting has grown over the years into a full-time passion. Prior to AccuQuilt, Marianne said she could only make three to four quilts a year. Now she can create dozens of large quilts, mini quilts, and smaller size wall hangings. It's just so fun. All right, quilters, I wonder what our experts will create for us. But in the meantime, Erica, I have this great idea. Let me guess, we should give away a Go Goose Track style? Yes, we should. We should okay. start the year off right. One of our registered viewers will get our new die to try just for registering for today's event. So remember to always register. You can find that on our website. That's right. Our giveaways are one way we like to say thank you for being a part of the AccuQuilt family and oh. joining us on Tuesdays. Yes, you're all amazing. All right, let's give away our first die. Today's lucky winner of a Go Goose Tracks die is, drum roll please. Stephanie B. in Hager Hill, Kentucky. Congratulations, Thank you. Stephanie. Oh, yeah. Stephanie, you're going to have fun with that. You're going to have so much fun because it is so simple to put it together. It really is. Because we don't have those little Y seams. No Y seams. All right, quilters. Now remember, the Go Goose Tracks die and bundle are available for pre-order right now, and they will ship this month. Right. So you get the Go Soaring 9-inch block and board die bundle today. Everything you see here for $274 and some change, saving you over $100. These are great dies. Or get the Go Goose Tracks die by itself for $89.99, saving you $20. No code necessary um, to save with these great deals. That's right. We also have a limited quantity of these dies. We really do. So place your pre-orders now. Or... You can also take advantage of today's promo code, which is FLY30, to get 30% off of your order. Remember, the new die, it's already discounted. Yep, those bundles are already discounted. All right, it's time to check out what our first expert has come Excited. up with. Barbara, she's so brilliant. She is brilliant. What inspiration do you have for us today? Thanks, Pam and Erica. This goose is going to fly way off track and show you some neat things that you can do with your bob, your goose track bob. Now, when I buy a bob, I buy it, I think it's an investment because I'm getting shapes. I don't necessarily think that I'll make a zillion just goose tracks. So I try and think of other things that I can do with the bob when I, when I get it. And this has got some diamonds, it's got some half square triangles, it's got some squares. And so here's some different blocks that I can make from, there's your original goose track, but you can make little four patches, you can make diamonds, you can make some little miniature Lemoyne star blocks. Here, what about this one? I just turned the feet outside and left the middle strip out. 
Or what about a baby's carpenter's wheel? These are all the same shapes you get in the carpenter's wheel. Um, this one measures 10 and a half or 10 inch finish. So you could um, work with your 10 inch cube or a 10 inch bob to go with it. So it makes a lot of different um, designs other than just this. But with you pair it with another bob, I started going through, I have a book of bobs, <laughs> and I started going through my book and I found, you know, Starry Path, that's nine inches, that would go. There's a lot of possibility to go with that one. Um, again, the Lemoyne Star, you can make um, lots of unique things by combining those shapes or churn dash with set on point uh, with your setting triangles. That would look really good. Cross canoes, that gives you another great idea. These are all nine inch bobs. But the thing to keep in mind is this little shape B here is two inches. If I replace it with, say, a wider strip, I get a bigger block. If I replace, I did the math for you, if I replace it with a three inch instead of this two inch for B and A, then I've got a 10 inch block. Or if I replace it with a five inch strip from my five inch strip die, I've got a 12 inch block. And the only difference is I replaced B and A with larger stripes. And so that opens up the possibility that I can add it um, to a lot of 12 inch blocks. There's the Arkansas Traveler. Use them as little medallions here to surround them. And then another thing is you can always just use that individual little piece to surround a medallion, you know, to make it be the outside. Plus the carpenter's wheel is an 18 inch block. So two of these, you can make two across, wouldn't line up perfect with this. So I'm gonna go back and uh, see what I can come up with by pairing the new Goose Track Bob with another bob. See you in a minute. Okay. I just sit in awe all the time. Yes. So I do love the concept of that negative space with the Arkansas Traveler. Yes. And that the carpenter's wheel makes that 18 inch block. Yes. And now too, I just yes. think that's brilliant. No, she is so smart. All right, quilters, we are going to ask you to vote on your favorite final expert project in a little bit. So make sure you don't miss those reveals. And if you're joining us a little late and you're new to AccuQuilt, this show is a die to try launch party. The die to try series is when we release a limited quantity die on the first Tuesday of each month. That's right. This program allows us to offer you the chance to try out some fun new dies. Our die to try dies are only available on AccuQuilt's website, so you won't find them anywhere else. And by making them exclusive, we're able to bring new products to you faster than the average launch. That's right. So, we've got some deals. Yes. Now, quilters, don't forget, the Go Goose Tracks die and bundle are available for pre-order right now and will ship in January. So when you pre-order the Go Soaring 9-inch block on board but today, you get everything you see here for $274 and some change, saving you over $100. Or get the Goose Tracks die by itself for $89.99, again, saving you $20. That's right. We have a limited quantity of these so dies, so place your pre-order now to add this coveted die into your collection. Or you can take advantage of today's promo code, FLY30, to get 30% off your order. That's right. Now, quilters, if you like watching our live show, then you'll love watching our behind-the-scenes videos so on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. That's right. You'll gain exclusive access to our studio and see all the fun we have before our shows. There are antics. There are. Always. There is always. trivia questions every Tuesday. Yes. Mm -hmm. Trivia Tuesday. We also love to share your stories, quilts, and more on our social media pages. That's right. So be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss out on any of the fun. All right. Let's check in with our second expert, Marianne, yes. who is also so brilliant. Yes. What sort of inspiration do you have using the new Go Goose Tracks die? Hey, Pam and Erica. Once again, it's always great to see both of you. Well, my tracks are all over the place. I've been going this way and that way, and I have to tell you, this goose tracks is so much fun. The first thing I always do, as you know, is I make a test block. So there's my test block, and I really like it. It went together really simple, and I'm a big fan of EQ8, so I started playing with color options. I said, what can I do? Now, 
you know me, I like to play and see how the pieces fit together and how the shapes can turn and fix and everything. Anyway, so I'm going to go down to the design board and show you where my tracks have led me through the land of cubes, which is what I'm working with today. Okay, here we are on the design board. This is the block I just showed you, and here are the pieces and the parts. It's very easy to do. All the petals are shape D. Uh, all of the background here and on the cross section are all across here, and it's nice. They're all grouped together, easy to change colors. Um, I actually went, uh, after I made the full block, I went back and said, hmm, I wanted to measure out the pieces. This actually finishes at three and three quarter inches, and this finishes at nine. So I realized this, is a one and a half inch finished strip, which is cut at two inches. And if I tried to do this, I wanted to see if I could make a block. It comes out at five and a quarter inches. I go, well, I don't have a cube that size that I can make anything with. But you know what? I do have a 10 inch cube and I do have a one and three quarter inch strip cut. So I'm going to change that one and that two inch cut strip to a one and three quarter inch cut strip back off a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to end up with a five inch finished block. And what can I do with a five inch finished block? I can use my 10 inch cube, shape number one, which is the five inch square. And I can now make 10 inch blocks. And I can change the position and do them any way I want. I've kind of laid out a bunch of concepts uh, using this now as a five inch finished block and the shape one as a uh, alternate block piece. I can now also use, um, if I do large blocks like this, I can use 10 inch setting triangles. So that's a five inch block. What else can I do with it? Well, I can make a six inch block. I went ahead and did the same thing, only used my two and three quarter inch strip cutter here. And I made six inch finished blocks, which now allow me to what? Use my six inch cube and my 12 inch cube. I can just lay them out and sew four together and get something like this. Or I can flip them and get something like this, which is actually what I'm showing in this little design that I've done. And I said, this is pretty cool. I can use six inch setting triangles now with this. And obviously if I make the large ones, I could use the 12. So I'm really liking this. Now I can go on and on and I could do an eight inch and whatever, but I decided since it finishes at nine inch, I would jump right to the nine inch cube to see what else I could do. And I had decided to do this design, but guess what? It doesn't work. These are a five by five grid. Now, I need a four by four in order to get a nine inch. This actually, I would need a one and three quarter inch half square triangle to make that block, which does not work. So I went and checked the different designs and this is called Yankee Puzzle. This is now a four or 16 patch of four by four grid. The math will work with the nine inch cube. I used only shape five and I can make, and I proved it because I didn't trust myself. And my original design, which called for this, which I cannot make, I was able to translate into this, which I can make with my nine inch cube. So as you can see, there's an awful lot of versatility. My biggest problem is deciding what to do for my reveal. Stay tuned. Okay, I just love how she thinks. Yes. You know, and the, the sizes, how to, to change the size of the right. block with the right. size of the sashing. Both of our experts did that. Yes. Yes. But, but turning the pieces around, I need to do that more. Well, I know, because I think you get in your quilting head and you think, oh, this is how it goes. So we make our test block and we make a full block, but what if we make a test block and we just make our units? Because right. then we can play around with them right. and look at the different looks that we're gonna get. Right. I just love that. Also, this is different than all the other dyes at AccuQuilt. Yes. Okay, <laughs> this makes me so happy. <laughs> Okay, this is on a five by five grid, which we're gonna talk about in just a minute. Right. It is the first bob we've ever made that has a five by five grid. I think grid. so, yeah. Okay. So typically, um, all of our dies come on that, or bobs make that four patch, right? That's that two right. by two grid. So recently we talked about the grid system. So last week's, the Was last, it just last week? The last two Tuesdays, as a matter of fact. So our cube system is based on a four patch or a two by two grid. So right. here is, this is from our eight inch right. cube and it's shape number one. It's the large square, four of them put together is going to equal an eight inch finished block. Right, so the cubes, hey, if you don't know about our cubes, watch those shows last week. They live they were great. on our website, they live on our Facebook page and on our YouTube channel. See, there you go. But you can expand that grid to a three by three grid or a nine patch. So 
uh, four and four and four is 12. Right. Four and four and four is 12. So here's that two by two grid. Here's that three by three grid. Right. Okay. But, oh, this ah, makes me so ta -da. happy. Ta-da. Okay, so um, what you want to do to find the grid is you need to find the smallest square, which is here, that right. center square. So this is actually one, two, three, four, five right. by one, two, three, four, five. Now, another unique thing about this block is that you can easily resize it like we saw with both of our experts by changing the size of that sashing that goes between the units inside the block. That's right. So with 18 different strip dies, all of which are part of the Fly 30 sale That's today, right. you can certainly have a lot of fun with that concept and changing up your design. That's right. All right, so. Um, so we, if we change that piece right from here. two inches right. to larger, and we're right. gonna cut some strips here. We are, we're gonna cut some four and a half inch strips. Let's talk about them real quick. Yeah. So um, all of our strips have strip dye magic, which we kind of talk about all the time. So Erica, the first thing to remember is this is not, normally we put lay, the lengthwise grain of the uh, fabric parallel to those lengthwise blades. That's correct. But there is none such a thing animal here. Right, because we have no crosswise blades and that's right. really where the difference comes in. Right. We have only lengthwise blades in here and right. these are simply, ang these guidelines are just that. They're printed on there so that there like are no blades codes. underneath them. There's just guidelines. Yes. Okay. And there's no blades down here and here. So this is gonna allow you to cut width of fabric, yes. which is what we have done here. Right. So this is our four and a half, it's gonna cut a four and a half inch strip. Right. So just like all of our other geometric shaped dies. I have your mat oh, right I was over gonna here. say, I have no mat. Um, Nothing happens gonna, without a mat, by the way. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. It's going to have, um, I'm gonna move it down just a okay. little because I'm gonna run it through. Oh, okay. Um, you wanna make sure this uh, fold is parallel to that uh, mm -hmm. or that marking. I usually put the fold in first. Do you usually put the I fold in I usually do, first? yes. I do as well. Because we are of one mind. We are. So um, there are two strips on here, four and a half, four and a half. So I just rough cut a nine and a half inch right. width of fabric. And I cut off the salvage, how come? Because we're gonna cut it off anyway. I have to move my cup so I don't. Oh yes, yes, that's a good idea. Don't you love our snow and goose tracks? I do love our snow and goose our, tracks. Our team does such a great job with our set. We have snowflakes behind us. It's very frosty, very, <laughs> very seasonally appropriate. Yes. Since I think Sunday the low, the high was like three or something. I don't know. Here. It was ridiculously cold. I just sewed. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Now it's warming up and then it's gonna cool down again. Right. Because we're in Nebraska and that's what we do. Give it some love, slide that mat, don't lift. Oh, it's a little, we got our winter static so on static. Here. Okay, so now we wanna make, oh see, look, there's that one thread, don't go near. Hey, we have scissors on our website. We do and these are fabulous. Yeah, don't pull that one thread. Okay, so now what you wanna do is we're gonna make squares. Okay, right. so let's make some four and a half make inch some squares. Four and a half inch squares. Okay, so we're gonna line it up right here at 90 degrees. Yep. You wanna make sure the fold comes past the blade. Yes. When we talk about fan folding, Erica, this is what we it's talk about. It's a back and forth action, and you wanna make sure again that your fold is beyond the blade so that you get a clean cut. Now let's. And we can go all the way down the die board. You can. I know. We can just do this. Okay, at 90 degrees. All right. Let's do this. So now we're gonna run it through again. All right. So Erica, here's why we, why we think about this. What if you wanted to make rectangles? Cause, oh, here it helps if I turn on the cutter. Oh yes, it does. So if you're gonna make that. rectangles, we're gonna make squares today, so we just use the same die. Right. But, but if we were to grab, say, the six and a half inch strip, yes. then we could have made four and a half by six and a half inch rectangles. Right. And our trick for that is, quilters, you wanna cut the biggest, the widest strip first, okay? All right, so now, think about this. Oh, here, give it some love. Slide, don't slide. lift. Holy smokes, is there static. And now look, we've made squares for days. So this okay. is gonna open up, again, don't forget to think about using your strip dies. Our experts are talking about the cubes, they're talking yes. about the bobs, but you can talk about your strip dies too and things that you can do with them. Right. And so, putting different different strip sizes between, putting different widths. Right. 
And think about this, you could make your test block, you could make a few extra partial blocks and play with that design and see how it comes out. That's right. Could go in like that. See, all of those kind of fun things. So many different fun things. So don't forget to, this is, I know your mother told you not to play with your food, but you can play with your, your quilt all chains. All the time. All the time. Look at that. So that would be so great. And then it would make this great um, block where, so if it was five and, or four and four and four, it would just make it so much bigger That's than right. our normal That's three right. inch. That's right. Now, because we know you want to be inspired by ideas like this, yes. you want to pick up some great tips and you want free patterns, right? You well, know. There's at least two new blog posts every week with innovative ways to use the dyes you already own and possibly inspire you to purchase a few more. Discover everything we mentioned and more when you subscribe to AccuQuilt's blog. And our blog this week talks about our donation with Moda, right? Yes, it does. Our Cover does, the World indeed. in Quilts. And later this week, it's going to talk about getting organized. Because it's oh. January and that's what we talk about, right, quilters? Yes. Or if your sewing space looks like mine after the holidays, it's what you need to do. Yes. <laughs> Yes. All right, quilters, cool. remember the Go Goose Tracks dye and bundle are available for pre-order right now. It right. will ship here in January. When you pre-order the Go Soaring 9-inch Block on Board dye bundle, you'll get everything you see here for just $274.99. It's going to save you over $100. Keep it simple and get the Go Goose Tracks dye. 89 and some change, saving you $20, no code necessary. Or you can also take advantage of today's promo code, FLY30, to get 30% off your order. Now remember, this code doesn't combine with the new dye or bundle because they're already discounted. That's right. But think about those strip dyes and check our oh, website yeah. for all those great... Setting deals. triangles. Setting triangles. And remember, when you spend $100 or more and place your order by 2 p.m. Central, so you have just over an hour and a half, um, you will receive free shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S., place your orders now. Great. All right, our oh, listen. This is so pretty. Wait till you see. So Northcott so Fabric pretty. has sent us some really pretty fabric. I know I'm excited about this. Just in time for Valentine's Day. All right. So they're helping us make this party great with two lovely bundles of fabric. So look at this gradient pinks. Oh, and so this pretty. is just a little blush. Mm -hmm. I love that. Gosh, I love all of this. <laughs> All right, so we're going to give it oh, away. Thank you so much. Our first winner of the North Cut fabric selection is, drum roll please. Sonia K of Beaver Creek, Ohio. Congratulations, Sonia. And the winner of the second selection of fabric is, drum roll please. Anna A. in Garland, Texas. Congratulations. Congratulations. We're going to show you a project um, that was made with this. Oh, yes. Yeah. So order the die now. And thanks to Northcott for sponsoring our show today. We know our quilters will love using this fabric to make their projects look magical. That's Be sure right. and share them with us. All right. Now, quilters, let's reveal today's final projects. I wonder what our experts have come up with. Barbara, what do you have for us? Well, I'm back, and I'm back flying on track. I've taken the goose tracks, the glorified nine patch, and my nine inch setting triangles to create glorified tracks. Um, you can see that I've taken right here is the goose track block. I've just taken those little feet and turned them around. And then you can see the glorified nine patch helps it make a circular motion. Um, and that's from the glorified nine patch here. So I've got some graphics that show it with some color added to it, but I just made it simply um, in a blue and a white. It's gonna be perfect for a little baby boy. So I hope you like it. Again, it's called glorified tracks. Okay, that is stunning. And then your favorite dye. My favorite dye, the glorified nine patch. It's fantastic. Okay, and Barbara, we love the black and white because who doesn't? But we were yes. talking about maybe blue, Ooh. like bright, icy blue, and then right. it would give that Or even the color of our shirts. Yes. Today, we call this Pacific Coast Blue, I think. I know, I'm down for it. <laughs> All right, Marianne, what did you create? Okay, quilters, this is my big reveal. I call it Party Lanterns. It consists of three goose track blocks, three alternate blocks, 
which are basically a nine patch and I used the six inch cube shapes 13 14 and two then I had a third alternate block which is simply shapes one and two uh, which forms the chain also from the six inch cube and then I had to cut out eight nine and a half inch squares to fill in all the blank spaces and that's it it goes together quickly there's no y seams there's no curves there's no funny sewing and if you happen to be lucky enough to own the nine inch setting triangles that will go together in a breeze i hope you like it it's called party lanterns okay that is so clever it is amazing how what the different look that she got. It is, and they both have the same dye. And Marianne, though I do love your colors, wouldn't that be cool in, as Mardi Gras colors? Because then Ooh, it would look yes. nice. It kind of has Mardi, that feel. Mardi, Mardi like Gras beads said, party. and stuff. Party lanterns, yes. I don't definitely. know how people are going to decide. <laughs> oh, quilters, voting is now open. So let us know which expert project was your favorite. Now, if you're watching via the registration link or on YouTube, you can click on the vote box below or to the right of the chat box. And if you're watching via Facebook, vote in the box that displays over the video. We don't know because we are always on this side of that video. <laughs> That's right. Now, while we wait on your votes to come in, let's track our way into today's trunk show. All right, Lynn, what do you have to share today? Welcome back, Miss Lynn. All right, we got some really Ooh. cool projects. So, so this is the Go Posey Pathway Wall Hanging by Terry Vandenbosch of Liver Lizard Queen. Lizard Creek Quilting, Quilting and Maywood Studios. This is the uh, project on the packaging, right? Absolutely. Yes. yes. And the block so that we pretty. cut today. Now this has also got some strip dies. Lynn was pointing out all the strip dies that this used. So again, great chance, great day to get those strip dies. So there's that three and a half inch strip yep. and the two and a half inch for the binding. And then this right here is little sashing between the block. Right, so that's the one and a half. So they're sashing in between the units of the block, but Terry has added sashing between the blocks and made the secondary design with these little cornerstones. I love it. Super cute, super cute. And again, the colorway would be great. You can totally change it up for whatever season I'm um, using Go Quilt. And the quilting's really fun on this. Yeah, it's always great to show what different ideas you can do with yeah. these blocks. So this and is a really great example. Fun fact, I have most of these fabrics. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> I think I may have a fair number of them I, as well. I was going to say, I don't know. Terry and I must shop at the same places. You must. Okay. All right. This is the Go Goose Tracks tote bag. It's by Melanie Call of A Bit of Scrap Stuff, and she's used Riley Blake design fabric. I think this is so cute. This is great. And, you know, we always talk about what to do with your test square, right? Yeah. This is a great way to use it. And again, strip dies that you're going to need to make it. So if you're somebody who likes to organize your projects in a bag, here you go. Make a bag and then you can organize. What it. would you put in it, Miss Lynn? Well, I think these are great for grocery bags. So oh, if yes. Want, if you're not using plastic bags mm -hmm. out there, this is a great idea for you can replace it with any block. And then you pointed out, Pam, you could also put another block on the other side too. This one right. doesn't have that, but it's a great idea. Yeah, super Here cute. It'd be good for English paper piecing too. Absolutely. It would be. All right. All right, so this is the Go Goose Tracks on Point wall hanging. It's by Christina Brinkerhoff of Center Street Quilts. And these are the, this is the block on point and look how different it looks. It does. So you want those nine inch setting triangles, which is part of the bundle today so that you get this um, side setting triangles and then the corner. Okay. I love fabric that has words. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking I, about this that. Is, she does. This fabric has words. I, I, stripe binding is what I'm doing this year. Next year, all my quilts are going to have words in them because I just think that's so pretty. And I love how this, the internal sashing makes it look like right. there's external sashing, but it's really part of the blocks. Right. Yeah, and this has a fun quilting to it as well. I always like when they mix the curved quilting mm -hmm. with, um, we've got some sharp edges with the blocks. So mm -hmm. Is this nice. what you're taking this year for your little set? Maybe. Let's <laughs> <laughs> wait and see what the next one is. All right, this one's super Have you seen cute. how many she took away is with her last something year? something last year. It was crazy. crazy. Ah, that's nothing. Okay, here we go. This is the Go Love Tracks Table Runner. This one's by Terry Vandenbosch, also of Lizard Creek Quilting, and she's used Northcott fabrics. The same Northcott fabrics, in fact, that we just gave away. Right, 
And again, okay, we talked about this last year about table runners and what a great way to use up a variety of, you know, the, your sample right. blocks. And you can make a table runner in no time. And again, big corner sashings, we, you all learned how to make squares today. That's right, and the, right? the, and the setting straight. triangles, so important to have those. And the quilting, I mean, Lynn, we little hearts. That. It's wonderful, because now that we're done, all past the holidays, what are we thinking about? <laughs> Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. What am I thinking about? Valentine's Day. I there think you this is <laughs> <laughs> all right, quilters, all of these patterns are available as free downloads on our AccuQuilt website. Be sure to get your patterns downloaded, your fabric bought and cut before your dye arrives, and then you'll be all ready to go. That's right. All right, ladies, now that we're tracking, we're <laughs> going to let you continue with the launch party. Thank you. We should be tracking how many projects she gets away with this year, too. I know, right? I feel like that's going to, that pile is just going to get bigger. It's just going to get bigger. All right, quilters. Well, we're about to announce today's expert winner. But first off, we're going to give away our final prize of the day. Oh, uh, let's do. Let's say thanks to our quilters one more time. Absolutely. The lucky winner of another Go Goose Tracks die is, drum roll please. <laughs> Shelly L. from Naples, Florida. Congratulations. Congratulations. Now, your prize will be shipped as soon as we get it in. Yeah. As soon as it flies in the dock door, it'll fly out to you. Fly out to Naples. We should take it there. Oh, we should. We should hand deliver this it. This is a good time of year to be in Naples, <laughs> Board, I Sorry. feel like. All right, Quilters, voting is now closed. We're going to reveal the winner in just a few moments, so make sure you don't miss out. That's right. Now, Quilters, if you're like us, you're always looking for more inspiration. Be sure to join me every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time for AccuQuilt Live on our Facebook and YouTube platforms. Tomorrow, we're going to make the cutest project. So cute. We're going to make the Go Log Cabin Schoolhouse. It needs two dies, the Go Schoolhouse die and the Log Cabin die. And we're going to show you how to make this block. It's so cute. It's so cute. We have tons of fun, and I hope to see you there. All right, quilters, there's only a few of our Go Goose Track dies left, so be sure you pre-order your die or bundle right now for January delivery. And today's bundle is the Go Soaring 9-inch Block on Board die. Uh, bundle. You'll get the Go Goose Tracks, all of these finished at nine inches, the Go Glorified Nine Patch, which is Erica's favorite, mm -hmm. the Lemoyne Star, that is such a classic, classic it, block. It is. And the setting triangles, all nine inch finished. Normally, all of these dies would run you $380. Today, you can get it all for $274 and some change, saving you over $100. And I think you've seen already how much you're going to want those setting triangle dies. Oh my gosh, always. And Get the Goose Tracks die all by itself for $89.99, saving you $20. No code is necessary to take advantage of these two great deals. That's right. Place your pre-order now so you don't miss out on your chance to add this wonderful quilt block to your collection. Now, I had never made this block before we had a die, had you? I had not either. And that fast, oh, so we quick. made blocks. They were oh, so okay. fun. Yeah. It was great. All right. Get on track with your um, dies you need using today's promo code FLY30 to get 30% off your order. Remember, this code is not combined with any of our new die bundles since they're already discounted. That's the right. Die. That's right. Plus, if you spend $100 or more and place your order by 2 p.m. Central Time, you're going to get free shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S. That's today only. Yes. To get your order in during the show, you can use your phone's camera to capture the QR image and go right to the site. And if you don't have access to a QR reader, no worries. Just open up a new tab in your browser. Go to the top of the page, click on that plus sign in that very type, top box type, accuquilt.com slash party to see the bundle and place your order. That's right. Remember, you can quilt now and pay later. Get your financing today with accuquilt.com slash financing. All right, quilters, the time has come. The team has countered your votes, and it's time to announce today's winner. Is it going to be Barbara with her glorified tracks? Or will it be Marianne with her Go Party Lanterns? Did you have a favorite? Oh, well, you know how much I love the glorified night. No, I'm, I'm both, really hoping for that. They were right. both outstanding. They, and so versatile and brilliant. Oh, absolutely. I mean, just absolutely. amazing. All right. You voted quilters and decided that our winner is big drum roll, please. Party for the win. Party for the win. Party lanterns for the win. All right. Well, it is time for us to fly away. We hope that you are as excited as we are about the possibilities and all the creations that you can make using our new Go Goose Tracks die. 
Now be sure to join us again next Tuesday, January 11th at 12 noon central time for our new trunk show called Quilting Renovation. Yes. We're gonna be sharing ways to freshen up your craft and your sewing space this time of year. Cause I think kind of we get in that rut, right? Of, right. You know, it's the same old fabrics and what should I do? We're gonna, we're gonna help you with that. Yes, that's absolutely right. So make sure you register for that event on our website because that's how you register to win. Next prize. And if you haven't yet, while you're there, sign up to be an exclusive AQ Circle member. You will receive exciting emails and be among the first to know about everything, including sneak peeks and new products. To sign up, visit AccuQuilt.com slash AQ Circle. So did our AQ Circle folks get an email this morning telling them about the new knife? I believe they did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. New things. All right, quilters, thanks so much for joining us here our first Tuesday of the new year. If you've been waiting for our show to end before you buy, now is the time. Here's the link. Get everything you need while it's available. That's right. And remember, at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time. So you can quote more. Goodbye. Bye. Have you met AccuQuilt's Go Me? This lightweight, compact fabric cutter will inspire makers everywhere to experience the joy of quilting. It makes a great starter set for those new to quilting or to the AccuQuilt system. The Go Me provides a safe, fun, and easy way to cut a variety of fabrics for quilting. It also makes a great gift. This perfect starter set comes with the Go Me fabric cutter, two go dies, a cutting mat, and five fabulous patterns. Just add fabric and you'll have everything you need to create your first project. Look what we made using just these two dies. Plus, it's compatible with more than 200 dies in our Go collection. The Go Me's compact design is made for quilters with life on the go. With AccuQuilt and the new Go Me, we can help you cut time so you can quilt more. Are you or someone you love an avid quilter? Meet the Ready, Set, Go Ultimate Fabric Cutting System. This fabric cutter takes the strain out of fabric cutting, meaning less chance of injury and better quilts made faster. The Ultimate Fabric Cutting System includes the Go, our innovative fabric cutter with an easy to turn handle that makes cutting fabric safer, faster, and more accurate. This 15 pound fabric cutter has a carrying handle and folding mechanism, so it's portable and easy to store. The Ready, Set, Go also includes the Go Cube Mix and Match 8 inch block, which features eight dies of commonly used geometric shapes and the corresponding cutting mat. The Go Cube Mix and Match system has endless pattern possibilities, but it comes with a 16 page pattern book with two quilt patterns to get you started. We like to say the Ready, Set, Go is the ultimate fabric cutting system because it truly comes with everything you need. That includes our Go Strip Cutter, two and a half inch, which finishes to a two inch finish strip, a corresponding cutting mat to make cutting binding strips easier than ever. We've even included a die pick to make die maintenance painless. To help quilters feel confident on their quilting journey, we've also included the Go Cube Mix and Match Blocks and Quilt Pattern Book by Eleanor Burns. It's packed with tips and tricks in addition to inspiration. Look at some of the beautiful projects you can create with this ultimate fabric cutting system. At AccuQuilt, we want to spread the joy of quilting to all, and the Go makes cutting fabric easier than traditional scissors or rotary cutting. AccuQuilt, because cutting time means quilting more.
the ultimate fabric cutting experience, you need the go big in your sewing space. This all electric fabric cutter is hands-free, making it the cutter for those with physical limitations. The go big is safe, easy to use, and is compatible with every die in our Go collection. That's more than 250 dies. The wide opening allows you to run two six inch wide dies through at once, upping your efficiency and lowering your cutting time. Though it's our widest Go cutter, the Go Big is still portable and features a handle to make it easy to store or travel with. When you buy the Go Big electric starter set, you get the Go Big fabric cutter, the three by six inch finish Go flying geese die, a cutting mat, and five fabulous patterns. Look at some of these beautiful projects you can create with a Go Big. The Go Big has all the perks of AccuQuilt's amazing Go product line with none of the manual work. Don't give up your quilting craft. Go Big. AccuQuilt. Because cutting time means quilting more.